Welcome to my part two video on similar figures. So now we're going to look at how to find a missing side. So we yesterday we looked at how to see if they're similar. Now knowing that they're similar we can find a missing side by setting up a proportion. So take a look here we have AB over BD equals JK over KM. So that's AB here over BD equals JK over KM. So now basically what I'm doing is taking the large side over the small side of the first rectangle and taking the large side over the short side of the smaller triangle. So watch what I write down. 25 and write this down as well, over 12 equals, I'm going to say JK, which is X, over KM, which is 6. Now, I can use the cross products. So let me um, move this up just a little bit so you can see here. Okay, and I'll write this back in. 25 over 12 equals x over 6. Now, I can use the cross products. So 12 times x, of course, is 12x. And use the other cross product. 25 times 6 is 150. The opposite of multiplication is division. So I can divide both sides by 12. 12 divided by 12 is a 1 in disguise. So x equals... 12.5. Okay, now I'm going to show you one other way to set up another proportion for the same two figures. So this one says AB over JK. So now I'm matching up corresponding sides. So a large side of the larger rectangle over large side of the smaller rectangle. So I'm going to write 25 over x. Now BD over KM is the short side of the bigger triangle, bigger rectangle over the short side of the smaller rectangle. So now I write 12 over 6. Once again, use the cross products. So 12 times x is 12x. 25 times 6 is 150. The opposite of multiplication is division, so I'm going to divide both sides by 12. 12 divided by 12 is a 1 in disguise, so once again, x equals 12.5. So why is that? A couple different reasons. Number one, I used the same numbers, and number two, the 12 was di diagonal to the x in both problems. So of course, they're both going to come out to be the same answer. Okay, now moving on. And it says similar figures with triangles. So now we have XYZ is similar to STU. If XYZ is similar to STU, then the corresponding angles are congruent. What is the length of XY in centimeters? So we want to know what XY is. So I'm going to go over to where side XY is, and I'm going to put in X because that's the length that I want to know. So now, if these two are similar, then I can write the letters over the top of each other. And what this means is angle X goes with S, angle Y goes with T, and angle Z goes with angle U. Now, when I set up a proportion and I'm finding a missing side, I have to make sure that that missing side is in my proportion. So I'm going to do small triangle over large triangle. So I'm going to make sure I include my variable first. So I'm going to write 3.5 over x. So I'm doing the ratio of the smaller triangle over the larger triangle. So 3.5 over x. Now, because I put the smaller triangle on top, when I match up the other corresponding sides, I have to make sure I put the smaller triangle on top. Now, 
I have a one here and that matches up with this side and I don't have a number. So I can't use the one in this side because I don't have another number. So it must be the three goes with the nine. And I can also tell that the three goes with the nine because the three is side TU and the nine is YZ. Okay, so they line up. So I'm going to write three over nine and I'm going to use cross products. So three times X is three X. 3.5 times 9 is 31.5. The opposite of multiplication is division, so I'm going to divide both sides by 3. 3 divided by 3 is a 1 in disguise. So x equals 10 and 5 tenths centimeters. So if you come over here, it is choice B. Now, I'm not sure where the other letters are. So, let's go on to the next page. Oh, and I guess that's where they went to. Okay, so let me see if I can get this fixed real quick so that we get this all on one page. Okay, almost there. Now we've got it all back on one page. Sorry about that. Okay, now, here are some practice problems. So it says, a tree casts a shadow 9 meters long. At the same time, a building 54 meters tall casts a shadow 21 meters long. To the nearest meter, what is the height of the tree? So what do I know? A tree casts a shadow 9 meters long. At the same time, a building 54 meters tall casts a shadow 21 meters long. To the nearest meter, what is the height of the tree? So our hint is to draw a picture. So I'm going to draw a tree here. Okay, there's my lovely tree, and it casts a shadow 9 meters long. And then a building, so I'm just going to draw a stick for my building. It is 54 meters tall, so I'm going to put the 54 meters next to the building. Cast a shadow, so this is my shadow, 21 meters long. What is the height of the tree? So I want to know what x is. So now I'm going to set up a proportion, and then of course I'm going to solve it. So I'm going to pair up corresponding sides. So I'm going to go height of the tree over height of the building. So I'm going to write x over 54 equals 9 over 21. So I put height over height, shadow over shadow. I could have also done height over shadow and height over shadow. Either way I do it, I'm still going to come up with the same answer. So now I'm going to use the cross products. 21 times x is 21x. And 54 times 9 is 486. The opposite of multiplication is division. So we're going to divide both sides by 21. 21 divided by 21 is a 1 in disguise. So x equals 23. And I'm going to round it to the nearest tenth. And then I'm going to notice that my answer is not here. But if you go back up to the directions, it says to the nearest meter. So if I round this to the nearest whole number, I see that my answer choice is actually choice C. Okay, two more examples. Number two, it says ABC is similar to, or sorry, triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. What is the length of DF? So what I'm going to do here is line these up. When they're similar, I can line up the letters, and that makes it easier for me to figure out which ones go with which. So DF is right here, and I want to know what it is, so I'm going to write X. Now, I can tell 
that the 8 BC goes with the 4 because BC lines up with the EF and here's EF. And I can also tell that AC goes with DF because they line up. So I'm going to box those in. Now, when I'm finding a missing side, remember, I've always got to include my variable. Otherwise, I can't solve for anything. So I'm going to write 6 over x, so bottom over bottom, and then I'm going to do side over side. And remember, because I put this one on top, big triangle over little triangle, I have to do big triangle over little triangle. I have to keep it consistent. So x times 8 is 8x. And when I cross product the other side, 6 times 4 is 24. The opposite of multiplication is division, so I'm going to divide both sides by 8. 8 divided by 8 is a 1 in disguise, so x equals 3 meters, because 24 divided by 8 is 3. So circle choice B. Okay, last example. Now in the last example, I don't have to solve for anything that's missing. All I'm going to do is find the corresponding side. So it says triangle FOX is similar to triangle FAN. So I'm going to line up Fox with Fan. And then it says which side of Fox corresponds to FA. So I'm going to box in FA here. And it's the first two letters. So that means the first two letters of box go with it. So F-O, I look at my choices, and the best choice is choice A. Okay, that concludes part, or part two notes on similar figures. I hope you have a great day.